Hello, my friends. Today I want to show you an amazing way to clean your air conditioner when it is inside the window and you don't want to remove it from the window and it's a way to do it from the inside. If you look in here, I'm not talking about just cleaning that air filter. I'm talking about actually cleaning and see all this nasty stuff. And I want to show you two ways to do it. Um, one should be super good, but let's go ahead and take this off right here. Okay. You want to hold this for a second? I went ahead and I already unscrewed. There's four screws. Um, so I went ahead and already unscrewed. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off. And while we're cleaning this, I might go ahead and spray this with some bleach water or something or soak it in bleach water or something um, to go ahead and start, because um, th this thing itself looks a little bad. So I'm going to need to cut this right here, but uh, I wanna go ahead and take it off and you can see kind of like what it looks like right there. And so let's go ahead and get to cleaning. All right, so we went ahead and we, we took this off. There's like two screws here and we got this thing in a bag right here. So I wanna go ahead and, um, Maybe clean this up a little bit, put it, uh, maybe spray some bleach spray on it. Um, and I need this to be drying out while we're doing all this. The two screws that were here were holding this electrical paint. Yeah, this little piece right here. Yeah. So we put it in a bag to keep it from getting wet or bleach on it. Yes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of this. All right, so I'm just spraying this down. Some of this may be uh, mold. And I want this to be soaking and working some while we're cleaning it out. So just kind of spray it down. Let it soak, got some stuff in there. And um, this should be working for us while we're cleaning out. Oh, that's gross, all that stuff. If you have like a bleach soap mixture, it may work, just be careful, because sometimes some bleach, uh, some uh, bleach and some different types of soap may actually make poison scoops. All right, so we want to show you two different ways. This is a way, in case you don't have a shop vac with like specialty tools um, to suck it off. This is, this way can actually work but what, what is your method here? Um, I have a toothbrush and you want to be very gentle. You don't want to bend the metal here. Um, and I just kind of use the toothbrush to kind of like fling the dust out by doing this little like that. Okay. And then what, what's after the toothbrush? And then after, after I get as much off as possible while it's dry, um, then I would have a spray bottle that has just ivory soap and water, just a, a mild soap. And I will go ahead and spray from the top down and it'll kind of run all the way down. All the dust and the dirt will run down. And then what I would do, if you don't have a vacuum, a wet vac is I would um, soak it up with paper towels. Just kind of stick paper towels in here gently and soak up the water. Okay, so I have right here a rigid shot vac. This is like a specialty one because it's the kind that can actually disconnect to become a blower. And then I have some reducers right here. Don't worry, I want to put Amazon affiliate links in the description, hopefully. Um, so I have like reducer type things right here. And then it brings it all the way down to do like the detailing. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the package and get it all set up and start. Okay, these are really cute. Um, they're just like tiny little attachments, a brush, and then there's like a suction here. So if you were doing this and you have a shot vac, you can just suction the water right out of the bottom if you were gonna use um, water. But I think these are really useful and um, it's kind of interesting to see how this works on the... We've never done this before, so... Normally, I should do it the old way with the, with the toothbrush. But, it um, takes a while. There may be some really nasty sludge that gets like down in here. So this should work out really well for that. All right, so the vacuum took a lot of it out. Now she's got some uh, water and soap. Um, if you use a spray bottle that has a stream, it can actually really like 
get some of that dirt out but this one doesn't have a real strong stream but I'm just gonna wet it down and then like um, use the toothbrush and then I, I dip the toothbrush in a cup of soapy water to clean it off as I go along and kind of um because some of the dust has gotten moisture and so then it like hardens on like down here it wouldn't vacuum off it's kind of like hardened on to the um whatever these are called what are they called coils is, is that what they're called but you can see it coming cleaner as you go down it it's like getting back to that metal color instead of being coated in dusty grime so this takes a little while but if you're patient you can get it nice and clean and then your air condition will work and more efficiently i've done um i think two videos on how to clean it from the outside and i also want to do a video um of how to clean an air conditioner like if you want to get really really extreme and remove it completely from the window and then like how are you you go about cleaning it to get like a really aggressive clean um even more so maybe even than this um but this is a really good way to do it for the inside of your um home so let's go to time lapse all right before we go to time lapse i just want to say it's a good idea to have your air conditioner unplugged first and also um you want to do a paper towel away um just the it soaks up the water that you're spraying if you have a paper towel sitting in here it just kind of helps soak it up as you drip water down. and also you, know, you want to be careful of electric outlets so as you can see we're making a lot of progress here um the AC unit, the bottom left is still a little dirty, but it's get definitely coming way, 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 way cleaner. You can uh, kind of see. It's uh, really coming along. So let's go ahead and go back to time lapse. Okay, everyone, so there may be like mold back in here. Different uh, AC units may be a little bit different. For this one, she's spraying, uh, she wants to go ahead and spray bleach in there to kind of get rid of a little bit of the mold that's starting. And then she wants to rinse out with water. Um, obviously, you need to get rid of all the bleach so you don't have like the fumes um, blowing back at you because that could be hazardous. So how long do you want to let that sit for? Um, not long, a few minutes. All right, so the bleach has been soaking for a little while. Now she's wiping it out. And then what do you want to do? And I'm just going to rinse it with a little uh, water, just plain old water. Um, we've had air conditions in the past that got really bad mildew all in here. And that's gross because it's like the air you're breathing is coming out. And so I would recommend doing this periodically before it gets too bad. But in Florida, we have really bad humidity in the summer. And it can really get bad fast. I think there's a spot right here. All right. Um, are you going to spray the water too? Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to rinse it off. Just to try to get the bleach off of there. And um, you don't really want to just be careful with the bleach fumes. Make sure it's all gone before you're running your air conditioner. And also, just remember that bleach is corrosive to aluminum. So something to keep in mind. You may not want to let that sit there. You want a paper towel? And then um, on the bottom of the air conditioner, we went to, uh, probably gonna like use the shot back to uh, just kind of suck some of that out. Right. And um, which attachment do you want? You want this little one? Yeah. Okay. So we have, so we can take the shot back, bring it all the way down to this little teeny tiny thing right here, which is kind of cute. So we're a huge shot back to have something so small. We want to go ahead and turn it on. And 
Oh, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so now we have this part right here. Now I had gone ahead and sprayed bleach on this earlier, and I went ahead and was rinsing it off earlier in the water. You wanna take it back a little bit, you wanna take care of that? Um, so it's like way, way cleaner. Um, I need to go ahead and screw this on. I might wipe it down a little bit. There was two small screws, and then this was held on by four screws. So I wanna go ahead and take this out, put it on, screw it on, and then screw this on. All right, my friends, so we have a really, like, far much, like, cleaner AC unit here. Um, you can see the coils, see how beautiful it looks, remember how disgusting it looked earlier. By the way, everyone, if you really, if you appreciate what we did, please subscribe to our notifications and leave a comment, let me know what you think. So I went ahead and I cleaned this off too, and, the, um, and also cleaned this off, the filter too. I did a video on how to clean your filter off, if you wanna watch that, I might leave a link in the description. Um, so here we go, see that? And of course, it's good to put the filter in the right way so install the filter like so um there's like a little thing right here there you go um let's push this in and there we go that's it and we gotta like plug it in turn on is that a crayon or something so please subscribe to our notifications <laughs> let me know what you think love y'all and bye